following are the operating instructions for the IBM 224 dictation unit. Starting on the left of the unit, there is a button on the side. When the unit is pulled apart via the square silver button on the back of the unit, you can pull the, this part open and replace the magnetic ribbon or the magnetic belt on the inside. Just below that is a silver circle ring. This is where the battery used to go. The battery function is disabled on this unit. On the front of the unit, on the left, you'll see two buttons with a red line on them. The top button is a marker to mark certain parts of your recordings. It doesn't work very well. Below that is a tuning control, or like a tracking control, like you would have on a VCR. To the right of those two buttons is the carriage. This is the part that's the record head that moves along the numbered dial as you record. To fast forward, you press in on the silver area there, the silver button, push it in, and move it to the right or left to index certain parts of your recording. Looking to the right of the unit, you'll see a blue square area. The first silver control is the playback button. When it is moved down one position, playback will begin. When moved down another position, it is the backspace. The backspace has been disabled on this unit. To the right is a black rectangular button. When pressed towards the top, recording begins. When pressed towards the bottom, recording stops. To the right of the black button is a meter for your battery. Not much use since the battery is not being used. Below that is a volume control. The silver knob, when pressed towards the X, will lower the volume. When turned towards the triangle icon, the volume increases. On the right of the unit, you'll see four areas. One is the connection to the cover that goes on the outside. The second is where the universal power supply plugs in. And you'll note that the plug stays out just slightly. Above that is a connector for some other type of equipment not supplied here. And above that is your microphone, the large black square area. One note is the universal power supply supplied with this unit should always stay on the 9 volt setting. And again, on the back of the unit, you'll see a black or a silver square button. This releases the unit so that it can be pulled apart and the magnetic ribbon can be replaced with another ribbon. Please remember that this unit is very old, very fragile, and was not meant to last as long as this unit has been running. In fact, it has been restored and modified so that it in fact can run. So please be careful not to drop or, or bump your unit during operation. Thank you for listening to these instructions on how to operate your IBM 224 dictating unit. Thank you, and have a great day.